Hi, my name is Nequasia Lewis, and I'm recording a monologue by Mindy Jones called Crazy. I just seen it, and I, I fell in love with the piece, and I hope I can execute it even half of the way it was portrayed. Um, this is new because I just literally memorized it today, so I know I probably got a little work to do, but I hope you all enjoy it. Please feel free to leave me any positive feedback in the comments. Crazy. Define crazy. Am I crazy? <laughs> Do you know what crazy is? How would you know what crazy is? Have you ever been crazy? I'm not crazy. I don't know what crazy is. <laughs> Am I crazy? Why do you think that I'm crazy? Is it because of what happened to me? Do you even know what happened to me, doctor? Or do you just know what it says on that little paper of yours? Lost two children in a fight. I know what it says. And I know what it means. Do you know what it means? How could you? Were you there that day? Did you see when my life went to hell in a matter of seconds? Did you see my girls ever? Then how do you know what happened to me? Has it ever happened to you? I didn't think so. Now let me help you understand that piece of paper just a little bit better. I had everything and anything anyone could ever want. I had a loving and successful husband. Built. Handsome. He was a lawyer. And we had a beautiful home. A big home with a white picket fence in the front. A swing on the porch. And we had three amazing children. Our oldest, Susan, she took after me. Looked just like me. Had my attitude and everything. And we had our two little twins, Maggie and Betty. They looked just like their father. They had these beautiful brown eyes and this curly black hair. And they were so talented. I had got them all into music and Maggie and Betty, they took to the piano. I used to love hearing them play. I'm telling you, those kids, they could brighten up the worst days. And then came the fire. It seemed like a dream. It happened so fast. I wish it were a dream. Then I wouldn't have to deal with the pain of knowing that my girls are gone forever because of me. I had caught the girls playing with a box of matches earlier that day. And I took them from them and I hit them. I know I did. But I must have missed one. And we all went down for naps. And I actually fell asleep, which was weird because I, I've never slept during the day. And I woke up to my oldest daughter, Susan, screaming, The house is on fire! <laughs> so I, I panicked and I, I jumped up and I ran up the stairs. And on my way up, the stairs collapsed and I fell and I broke my arm. And it broke my heart because I could, I could hear my babies screaming and crying. But I, I couldn't get to them now with just one good arm. And then I realized that, that that was 
music to my ears compared to what I heard next. <laughs> Silence. I knew that when I didn't hear my babies crying and screaming anymore, that the fire must have got them. <laughs> so I started screaming like crazy. I screamed their names, begging them to please, please cry, scream. Anything to let me know that they were alive. But I never heard them cry again. Is that what you call crazy? Doctor? Define crazy. What? It's crazy. It's crazy losing your children to a fire that you could have prevented if you just would have checked their pockets or, or the floor for that, that one, that one little match you missed. Or am I just explaining to them a little bit more how dangerous fires can be? Is that what you call crazy? No. But do you know what is crazy? They found the bodies of my baby behind the furnace. Furnace. I didn't even think a rat could fit behind the furnace. And, and there they were, my babies. Huddling each other, cuddling each other with their tiny arms wrapped around one another. Trying to protect each other from the flames. They were just babies. They weren't even three yet. Why not? Why not me? I'm old enough. I lived a long enough life. <laughs> the irony is that before the fire, I had everything. <laughs> the husband, the kids, the house, and now I have nothing. I lost my baby. My husband took my oldest child away from me and left me. Because he said I couldn't deal with the grief. When I'm at home alone, sometimes when it's quiet, I can I can still hear them playing. I know what you're thinking. You think that I'm crazy. What is crazy? When is crazy? Where is crazy? Who is crazy, doctor? Is it me or is it you? I am not crazy. So it must be you.